What's going on YouTube? This is Comms Engineering, and in this video, we're going to be going over the homepage or building the homepage for the mosque, and this will be a continued video. Okay, so now we can officially start building the website for the mosque, and we're going to be starting with the homepage. You're in this screen from the last video. What you want to do is come up here and hit this button that says new file. Click it and type in index.html and then hit enter. Now we've created a new HTML file. This is the main language that we're going to be using for this website. First thing you want to type HTML colon five and then hit enter. And now this pops up. What you're seeing right now is just our workspace for the HTML. This is the fun. This is the backbone of the HTML page. You'll find it in any HTML page. Now you can see that we have something called a title here. We can change that to your mosque's name or mesh's name. So now that we're done with that, that's our title. And now we have something here called the body. Now this is going to be everything that's going to be shown to the person who's using the website. Again, everything inside the body is going to be shown to the person who is using the website. All of this up here is to set up the HTML to make it working. So now the first thing that we're going to do is build the navigation bar. Now, before we move on and type more code, two very important things. One is there is a white circle here. That means that this file is not saved because we made some edits to it. We, we added this, we changed the name to this, we did a bunch of things. So what we need to do is do Command S or Control S on Windows to save it. So now that circle is gone, it's saved. We can exit this VS Code application and come back to it later and we're gonna find the exact same thing in here. Another thing is that this is green and it has a U right here. What does that mean? If we go here, we can see that this, it says that is untracked. What does this mean? Well, in GitHub, since this is a Git application or a Git tool or a Git service, this has not been pushed into your GitHub account, basically. I'll explain what commit means in a bit. However, this is basically not in our GitHub, which is fine for now. We don't have to worry about it right now. However, one very important extension that we must install is called Live Server. So we, again, here's the extensions. Come to the search, type Live Server. And it's this one by Yannick. It's called Live Server 5 Server. Install this. We need this to run our HTML code on the actual website. If you are using Google Chrome, you have the option of going to your file, right clicking, and open with HTML in this in this pop-up window. But on Firefox, I don't believe that is an option, so we can just come down here after installing the live server extension, clicking it. And for right now there's no there's nothing in our body right here is our body but there's nothing in it however if you look up here you can see that your mosque name is there we can actually s display something here all right so now we can start building the home page we can start by typing alligator sign nav class equals quotation mark nav bar close so what this is is a it's a navigation tool in html it's it's where you can have multiple different it's just a navigation tool and inside of it we're going to type alligator div or division you may be asking what is div it's just the building blocks of html we have different chunks of content or information on our website and the mostly used tool for that is div so type in div class equals menu close alligator and inside of this we're going to have even more div class these classes that i'm typing out are just references so when we're dealing with css or the styling of this we're going to have to call these when we create a new um, CSS file. We're going to have to call these by their names. Each of them have their own unique name. We're going to edit them by using their names. So to continue, well, let's call this one layer one. We're going to do three layers. So select this like I'm doing right now. Control C or con Command C. Enter, paste it, enter and paste. And all we need to do is change this to two and then this to three. Perfect. These are gonna be our three options, home, donate, and contact us. But these are these are only the placeholders, they're not the actual buttons. So next, we're gonna be dealing with the logo of your website. So as you can see, look, there's a white line that appears every time you hit something. This is its own body. This is the div's own body. This is the nav's own body. And this is the, the main body. So everything is inside of the body. We leave the head alone. We leave everything else alone. We're only dealing with what's inside here. Under the menu div, you can tell that it has this forward slash thing, which looks like that. That basically indicates the end of the the end of the, the div tool or the end of the content that's inside of it. This entire thing is the is menu class. 
So under here, I'm gonna type div again, class equals rotation logo, enter. Type in span class equals logo text. Now what we're doing here is just styling the name of the mouse that's gonna be displayed here somewhere. So right here is gonna be where my mouse is. It's this is where the menu bar is gonna be. And right here is gonna be where your mosque name is. Here's home, donate, and contact. It's not here right now, but we'll. So inside of this, we wanna type in. So here we have the span body highlighted between these white highlights. Span is a function in HTML that you can use to apply many different styling attributes for text, whether that be italics, bold, font, you know, whatever. So we can actually remove this and style it. So right next to it, say style equal to. We're gonna set the padding for the, for the name of your mosque. Padding right. 0.5 px px means pixels all right semicolon and then right next to it say padding top same thing 0.5 pixels now we're going to tell it to display that text inline block so this is this uh text is going to be sitting in is sitting inside this container right here or the menu and we have it set up in a way where there's padding and it'll sit very nicely so after the alligator sign do one on the opposite side img for image this is a uh, optional we don't have to do this but if you want to you can add an image right next to the text to the left of it i'll show you how it's done you can call this logo image img and you have to type source because this is where it's going to be pulling that image from we can go here add a folder and do images and now when you come to your file explorer it's here you'll see that your folder is now there you have to click inside of it and drag in any photo you want or paste any photo you want i'm just going to do one real quick moss image this for example command space typed in a screenshot and you can just select anything and press enter now once you have that paste that in and now it's there and now you'll be able to find this on your vs code uh, application click it and there it is so we can right click this and copy go back to the index html page go inside of the quotation marks for the for the source function and command v or just paste it in and there we go it is now there and remember the white circle command s or control s to save the file now to add the actual text we'll add two alligator signs opposite facing here we'll have your messaged name whatever you want it to be to make this more organized and make it easier to see or uh, less annoying to work with is you can click in between these uh, alligator signs and press enter so you can space them out or uh, lay them on top of each other there you go now it's easier to work with but now there's an important thing that needs to be done for the text and that is the styling of the text so now we go here right before the or the m or your message name alligator sign img to close that image now we have a new span close the span also because we have two spans remember see how, how how this is highlighted that's going over here this is highlighted going to the first class the first class is going to be a hot where so the first span class is going to be where we're going to implement the font now what we want to do is let's get rid of the name for now and what we want to type here is other span style equals double quotation start off with the color there's yeah, there's a lot of different colors you can choose from let's do light salmon and as you can see that color pops up and you can change it around if you want to i'm going to stick with the light salmon now we have to implement the font size font size and this is going to be 1.1 em which is well i'll explain this later all right and after this we do font family for the styling and there's a bunch of different quotated styles that we can click on i like this one but you know you can change it you don't have to pick this one and after the last quotation or semicolon you do and after this last quotation mark add another alligator sign add another alligator sign again your mosque name whatever your mosque whatever your mosque's name is and then after that I don't really need this span right here. And that's it for the, uh, for the logo text. Now, if we save this command S or control S and we go here, you can see that we have something here. See, we can see the your mosque name orange. And the image that you have here is not correctly shown because we haven't styled it yet. We haven't implemented the CSS file for it. We'll do that in a bit. But we need to finish the HTML page first. So once we're done with that, we go here right under this div right here. We're not done with the nav. So we're still inside this body, but right here in this div under here, we type another div class is equal menu bar. This is where we're going to implement our home donation and contact us page or buttons. First thing is li. This is a link function. So when you click on it, it takes you to a different page or link or website. This class will be named list items. And after that, close it and type a href equal to index.html, which is this page that we're working on right now and the button will be called home there we go now let's copy this enter enter and paste let's change this to donate which we're, we're going to call we're going to make donate and contact html and we'll change these to donate contact us this and this are going to be made in the future as of right now we're just working on this like i said before uh but one thing that i forgot to add was which is a different type of ul represents a list of items as stated in vs code while li is just one singular list item the ul is kind of a home for all of these so select all of this 
hit tab so we can make it nice and neat and we'll call this list now always remember that this is the body and as you can see ul is highlighted but there's nothing inside of it and we need all of this inside so we're going to take this copy come right here to the last list item enter and now we have everything in our ul class this is a very very common mistake or slip up that we that something might, may not be in the body even though we think it is even though if it's right underneath it's not going to be in the actual class so always check these okay Contr save it let's go back to the website and now we can see that the home donate and contact us are now there so we got a lot of what we need so far now so the menu bar is complete now what we want to do is add a section this is going to be the first big chunk of information for the website so section class let's call it section one because we're going to have another section after this enter div class welcome now we're going to do now in this we want to add text in two languages arabic and english this specific styling is what i prefer um and if you don't really like the way it is you can you can do only english or you can do arabic it doesn't really matter type in h1 and we're gonna do i don't have an arabic keyboard so i'm just gonna pull it from from the internet so we have that so we have a salam alaikum enter h2 this is gonna be the second title welcome to masjid and that's gonna be your masjid name here all right let's control save see how it is there it is all right now now this part we want to add photos of your masjid now i'm just going to do some example photos online maybe like the front of the masjid the side of the masjid top view maybe but in general you want to have some photos for the viewers to see if you're going on to if you're if you're going to go to a masjid's website or a church's website or sitting on anything re any religious institute any building that people want to see how it looks so we're going to put some photos so slideshow we're going to make another class under the div class welcome and call it slideshow container another div class call it pick one slide select this class enter and paste enter and paste enter and paste enter and paste we'll have about five photos you can do more you can do less it doesn't really matter make but make sure that they're all differently named pick one slide pick two slide, pick three slide, and ha and it's very, and keep the slide in each one because we're going to be referencing all of them in one, uh, in the CSS file. So now let me pull just random images off, off the web. So if you remember the procedure, we go to the file that you have created in your file explorer or the finder, paste all of the uh, photos that you took of your mosque. The, this, are just, this is just an example, mosques you know, around the world. Each of these are what we're going to put inside of these classes right here. So start off with image source. And the first one, we're just going to copy the right click, copy, paste, right, image source. Again, image source, copy the second one, oh. copy the second one remember double quotations and then inside of those double qu quotations we replace the image and just do this for the next three slides make sure they're all different and once you're done with that we can see here on the website that we have our five images but we're not seeing them correctly because we have to style them first so after the after you're done with your images we're just going to make like a quick the slideshow with buttons that you can manually go back and forth but it's going to be an automatic one too so it can go by itself or it can go with you as the viewer clicking the buttons to see the each of the photos we're going to make buttons for each of these photos so button one you can see photo one button two photo two and so on and so forth this is going to be manual and automatic so under this under the div class slideshow container hit enter another div class equals manual nav but it's going to be both again it's going to be both manual and automatic we're going to have a bunch of spans in here dot on click is a function a function in html that we can use to a clicking function in html basically what we're going to be using it for call this current slide one and that is a method right there using that function and that's it for the span but we need five of these but we need however many photos you have in this case it's five so we're going to make five of the exact same things just changing the number of the current slide Okay, once you're done with that, save it. Okay, that's it for the first section. Now, second section, class equals section two. This section has our prayer time. So div class equal to prayer image. And again, I'm just going to pull a random photo from the image. But remember, uh, this is just going to be a random prayer photo that I can put. This is, not re this is really not necessary, but it's just for the look of the website. Can make it look nice. 
Usually when you're looking for an image to put on your website, it's good to find an image like this where it's like black and white squares in the background. That means it's just this in the image and nothing else. There's no white. This is going to blend in with your the background of your website, whether wh whatever color it may be. So for example, if your website has a red color, this black and white is going to be red. This uh, background here is going to be red. So I'll save the image. Again, we can put it, save it. And we can, again, we can put it in the, in the wet Florida folder that it's created. All right, so we're back here inside of the prayer image class. We're going to do image source equals to the new. This is, again, this is optional. All right, so we're going to close this div, make a new div class. And for this class, we're going to have the prayer times. Be sure to have that ending div tag. We'll do h1, label it prayer times colon now we want to have an iframe here source now what an iframe is 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 basically a box that pulls in information it's it's a box that has information in it it's basically content in html that has information from another website from a third party website they call it basically inside of these you're going to have an http and we're going to be pulling it from a website called Mawaki that provides the user their platform so they can add their mosque to it. They have a video tutorial to add your mosque. And once you're done with it, it will provide you with an iframe tag from Mawaki website. Once you're done, you go to my Mawaki, go to details, then hit show for the widget for your website. And you'll have the option of two different iframe tags. One is going to be a horizontal look to it. And the other is going to be a vertical look for mobile. Horizontal iframe is going to be more for desktops and laptops. And the other one, which is the vertical one, is going to be more mobile use. And you take that and put it in your index.html. So in the next video, we're going to be going over the styling and the CSS of this HTML page or the homepage.